Hey friends, welcome to another video. Should I be filming this at 3 a.m. in the morning? Probably not, but when I get motivated to film things, it's most of the time at oddly late times. So this will probably be my last water talk video, but I was thinking to myself, okay, this was one of the recipes that came across, like I'm in this Facebook group just about skinny mixes slash skinny syrups. And it's been incredibly hard to find the stuff in like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. We only have two Marshalls in my city. Mind you, I live in one of the bigger cities in my state. So I'm like, damn, this water talk thing is getting serious if I can't find this stuff. So I ordered some stuff online. Um, if you guys want to save some money off of your skinny mixes slash skinny syrups, you can get 10% off with my code FOODMAKEUPSKIN10. That'll be linked in my description, as well as my two new bottles that I got. So this is from Elo Bottle. It's so cute. I've been absolutely obsessed with their stuff. They make, like, cutlery bottles. They're known for their bottles, but they make a lot of like kitchen stuff and then this is my this is from the spring collection elo bottle and i have um i got a big thing of their like straws this isn't the straw that came with this but yeah i'll link those cups below if you're into them um most of their bottles are like i want to say 12 to 15 dollars something like that um so this is kind of a haul slash i'm going to show you the recipe that skinny mix is shared i don't know who invented the recipe um but people have just been kind of recreating it and stuff so i thought why not show it on my channel so i recently got um technically three new skinny mixes products i got this a couple days ago this is the jordan skinny syrups cinnamon dolce barista collection so the reason why i got this not for water i know that sounds weird um my friend who's been keto for five years she swears by this flavor so she used to be really big into drinking like the mccafes but those she said had a lot of sugar so when she became keto she got this and i tried it for the first time um mixing it into some milk so I made my own cinnamon um, cold foam, and I put that over matcha. And y'all, it was so delicious. Highly, highly recommend that. And then I don't exactly know what I want to do with this yet, um, but this is the peach bellini. Um, and it says all you have to do is just add champagne. I've never had peach bellini before. I think the most alcoholic thing I've ever really drank or that I can really stand is either super mixed drinks that you can't tell that there's alcohol in it or a mimosa. Never had a Bellini before. So once I figure out what I want to do with this, I bet you you could make a water with this actually, now that I think about it. Just don't know how that would taste. So I got this at Dollar General. I'm not entirely sure where else you can get it. Probably like Dollar Tree, Walmart, something like that. Um, but basically what you do is this is the recipe for a caramel apple water. So you take, oh, and the dollar, um, dollar general, this was like a dollar 50 or something like that. And surprisingly enough, the Jolly Rancher drink mix is actually zero sugar as well. So if you're keto, you can drink this if you want. So you take this in the green apple, of course. Um, I'm not using my normal Stanley, so I'm only going to do half a package just because I'm pretty sure this is only 22 ounces. Actually, I don't particularly know how many ounces are in this. No, got that wrong. 24 ounces. And then we are going to use the Jordan Skinny Sauces Salted Caramel. And why this is... So I know people are like, oh my gosh, like why would you put like caramel in water? Isn't it gonna like solidify or be all weird and shit? Actually, interestingly enough, no. Because the skinny syrups, at least for like their caramels and chocolates, because it's keto, I don't really know how to quite describe it the best, but it comes out like thinner, I guess. Like I'll show you. 
Yeah, it's way thinner. So it's a lot easier to mix. So I did like two squirts. And then it ends up being so pretty and shiny. Well, I can't really show you without dropping it, but it's so pretty in that cup. So yeah, that's basically how to do caramel apple water. It's super, super easy. Tastes delicious. There's one that I've wanted to try, but the mermaid has been sold out. And then when they restock it, then I don't make it in time. But basically you take a little bit of mermaid, like maybe one or two squirts of it. And then you add it into the Sonic Ocean water that you can get at like Dollar Tree. And that's supposed to be really good because it has like a coconut taste to it. But yeah, anyways, that's going to do it for the video. Make sure you use my code and buy those cups if you think they're cool. Bye!